Hi guys, this is Wilma, Ermelo, the Netherlands, and this is um, Monday, the 2nd of November, and um, All Saints, I think, yes. Um, it's very stormy, very warm, 19 degrees, which is summer temperatures here, and that is another record, and I think those records are sad, but that's... Uh, my opinion climate change etc okay so far so good now for something uplifting look what i did now you may have read somewhere because i posted it somewhere on uh, on facebook that my neighbor next door neighbor she's in her she's 70 i think and um very sadly she heard that her sis her daughter of 45 has cancer and can't be treated anymore and she's a very 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 nice person so i visit her every so often i've been through a little here and there in life so we feel connected and um she used to work in a very nice decorate um well home style living decor shop look at this look what i did um let's zoom out just a teeny, teeny weeny bit um, and from there, when the, the shop, oops, this is getting interesting. Sorry, I'm a bit of an amateur, I think. I'm sure. Um, and what she did was she got some of these sample books full of very expensive, um, well, fabric for upholstery and curtains. Now, she gave them to me last week, and I thought the first thing I'm going to make is my very, very first pouch and my very first fabric cover, junk journal cover. I may look very experienced, but I'm not. Don't tell anybody. This is a secret between you and me. Okay. So, here, these were square, 25 by 25 centimeters, so 10 by 10 inches square samples i think that this is a very beautiful one and some of them are half that size so that's 12 and a half by 25 meaning 5 by 10. so i use i can use both you see by doing that i make it longer so i get this inches um 15 inches by 10 inches pouch i can make and the tutorial for that is on wendy's junk journal adventures she is just the best there is you know she's really good and she explained how to make this pouch it has now look um it's made of the thicker craft paper packaging paper like craft um, bags but this one was from a roll um i made these and i don't know what they're called in english so put them on the side put some embroidery on and i even made a belly band on i used some tickets and old paper envelope to put in there so this is the pouch and now for the journal which fits in there um it's i think what you call traveling as notebook size Oh, and there's this, again, this nice 10 by 10 um, piece of fabric. And this is some um, Japanese, Chinese, Asian um, scene. And, and I filled it with, well, all sorts of things in my stash. So here's, for example, some bells with flowers and that's a, and that's a paper clip and well just anything vintage and i wrote some uh, a little message for her um i used some book pages with um floral botanical scenes um i put this is tracing tracing paper and i put this i i did also use uh some of my tim holtz um, this is 
a Tim Holtz stencil and I use some um, um, a punch for the, some corners because I like them and this was embossed and I used some gilding wax to make it look metallic um, here's here's um, a card a journaling card here are some um, tags here's a little pocket I put there with um, with a paper clip and at the back there's a little bling 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 okay this clock here with flowers on another part apart from book page is one of I think Tracy's labels I put some um, colorful flower trim on there fussy got some um, some butterflies used there and um some some wire okay now this picture that's actually me when i was little and so that is vintage because i'm vintage <laughs> 1950s okay here's another extra paper this is recycled paper here i used um, a file card index card um, one with little squares on coffee dyed it I like this trim very much as I used it a couple of times I think it's very pretty I bought it in uh, from Aliexpress and this is a paper clip and the paper clip has a little pocket and the pocket has a little secret mm, tuck with uh, okay Let's continue now here I used a low pocket with gilding wax and embossed paper and then I also embossed some tracing paper so this this long very long um, tag actually goes through this band into uh, <laughs> ha ha it did work easily but now it doesn't yes to that pocket here's um, a little heart of lace and a dangle a dangle and here in the middle I put these this is the middle of my one signature it's only one signature okay and some more a little heart I, this is from a page from a botany book these two this one here's some space where she can write things oh I skipped one I think I may have yes musical notes here's um, tracing paper and two goodies one two going. here's a here's a well a tag but you can pull it out and here's the tag this is actually brownish um sari silk here's a i think that was curry curry the crafter and this one with two one two this was again tracing paper so you, you it's see-through um i put an envelope here you can take that off or something in there one but last page a little pocket made out of a circle look and then glued together and then the last page and here that this is also tracing paper and that's been embossed i don't know if you can tell it's sort of and there's an old an old vintage um envelope in there and that is it and this is the um the gift i'm going to take to my neighbor and and the pouch and i'm a proud little lady haha -ha, i did it i think i'll make many more because this is addictive as some of you know okay well 10 times very very stressful i bet in the united states but here across in Europe, we're also following everything. I'm not. Do, I'm not 
given my opinion on any of the candidates for the presidency. I do do really have my preferences, but um, that's from Europe, and we don't know, do we? I just wish we'll get some peace and calm. Bye-bye.